All right, what's the best way to teach high school students about World War II or the Vietnam War? So for a local group of high school students, it's matching those students with veterans, helping them understand the experience of war and military service from the people who lived through it. This is all part of the Pocosin Veterans Project, a growing program at Pocosin High School. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson was there as the teenagers met their new mentors for the first time. And it's a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. This is taking history and making it practical. More than 120 veterans and students are meeting each other for the first time, eating together, and most importantly, learning from each other. How many people would you say were on your ship? Like around how many people? Uh, averaged about 120. Everyone wants to talk to Joe Kelly, a World War II veteran and a man full of great stories. His ship uh, got shot down and he had to swim to an island and then he got sick and had to be sent back to Pearl Harbor. Kelly has stories that fascinate for hours, even a few he probably shouldn't tell. It wasn't very long before we were both stinking drunk <laughs> and it got into big trouble for that. All these students were born after the year 2000. They didn't think they'd ever hear about World War II from someone who lived through it. Experience from somebody else and like what people went through is 100% more valuable. This interview day is part of the Pocosin Veterans Project, a community outreach program started by teacher Becky Morrison at Pocosin High School. It's applicable, breathing history. I can't imagine a guy being so courageous as to do that, you know? The vets say they're benefiting just like the high schoolers. We made a friend today, basically. As they share stories that most people in this room are hearing for the first time. In Pocosin, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.